<laughs> but yeah, we're definitely talking about a lot going on in the weather department as well. No, nope, no mountain lions here though. So as we take a look at your current temperatures, we've had temperatures that have been warmer than usual for the daytime highs west of the mountains in response to the offshore flow. And that was the case today. As I mentioned before the break, we did have a warmer than usual high that was in the 70s for downtown. We're still in the 70s currently at 70 degrees for downtown, but we have a lot more 60s surrounding. So we're at 66 degrees for Carlsbad, 62 for Poway, 59 degrees now. 63 for Poway, 59 degrees currently for Ramona, as well as some 30s in the mountains. Take a look at those wind speeds. They are still high, but they're starting to come down, at least at the coast they have. And so the high wind warning we have for the coast that has since expired. We still have sustained wind speeds picking up. We're seeing that for Sill Hill at 35 miles per hour in the teens. And apparently just like that, that no longer happening. So that sustained wind speed is not picking up to 35 miles per hour. It's calming down in Sill Hill. We're at 14 miles per hour for Ramona and 19 currently for Mount Laguna. But the gust is still picking up into the 20s as well as into the 30s. We're seeing that in areas surrounding uh, Ramona. So right along those coast mountain slopes, also gusts picking up to 21 miles per hour currently for Escondido. But we had some very high wind gusts over the past couple of days and that has clocked us into the 80s. That was from Mount, uh, Black Mountain as well as Hellhole Canyon, Sill Hill, much of the same 70s. Palomar Mountain and Otay Mountain. Descanso was maxed out at 62 miles per hour. So we've had a lot of strong winds and we still have that high wind warning that's in play for the valleys as well as the mountains. Gusts up to about 60 miles per hour being possible as we go into later on tonight. But the strongest of them, they have since subsided. And that's all because high pressure is starting to move towards the east and it's getting away from that area of low pressure that's right offshore. So that tight pressure gradient creating these really strong offshore winds. And now we're transitioning into calmer period by tomorrow. Now we're still looking at a chance for some shower activity popping up as well as talking about flash flood concerns and that mainly favors the mountains as well as the desert. A lot of that moisture is just kind of surging towards the east of us right now, but we're starting to pick up on some of that shower activity and that's going to be the case as we go into our forecast for the rest of tonight. That flash flood watch will expire at midnight for the mountains in the desert. Your eight day microclimate forecast has 60s over the next couple of days for the coast, 70s and 60s for the inland valleys. Temperatures start to drop off, but you are also seeing more rain in that forecast. It's going to take us into next week, even a chance for thunderstorms by Monday. We're also talking about heavy snowfall that will be in the works as we go into next week. Next half hour, I will let you know just how much rain we can expect with the next storm system set to arrive by Friday night. But it's time for that quiz question. So if it's spring in the southern hemisphere, which season is it in the northern? Hmm. Thank you, Marcella. You just took it right out of my mouth. Hmm. <laughs> if you think you know the answer, just go ahead and head to our website, cbs8.com slash weather quiz to make your guess. One lucky person will be selected from all the correct answers received through the end of this month. So you got one more week left and you could win a beautiful leather sectional sofa from Jerome's called the Bennett. And you get your new weather quiz question Monday through Friday during this newscast in our 7 a.m. with Netta. Good luck. You can watch the big is game a, in comfort. Is that a trick question, or you just really want people to win the Bennett? I really want them to win the Bennett. <laughs> yeah. I thought so. She's giving you a freebie one. She's today. a giver. Yeah. Still